Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. Let us read the question one time. Calculate the plastic moment carrying capacity for the continuous beam shown in the figure. A two span continuous beam is given. In the span AB, there are two point loads. 100 kN and 150 kN. In the span BC, we have a point load 80 kN. In the span AB, the plastic moment capacity is 1.5 MB and the span BC, it is MB. First, let us consider the span AB. In the span AB, in the fixed end A, there will be a plastic hinge. In the joint B, there will be a plastic hinge. The third plastic hinge can be either under the point load 100 kN or under the point load 150 kN. So, in the span AB, there will be two mechanisms. Let us make a plastic hinge. There will be two mechanisms. Let us make the first mechanism. In this mechanism, let us assume that the third plastic hinge occurs under the point load 100 kN. Let us keep the virtual displacement under the load as a delta. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. In this case, we can take theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2 and delta is 2 theta 1. Now let us take the right side triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon 4. We know that tan theta 2 will be approximately equal to theta 2. So we can take theta 2 is equal to delta upon 4. For delta, we can apply 2 theta 1. Finally, for theta 2, we are getting 0 0.5 theta 1. Now let us find the internal work done. In the point A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1. Under the point load 100 kN, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. In the joint B, we have a plastic hinge. In the joints, we have to be very careful. On the left side, we have 1.5 MB. On the right side, in the span BC, we have MB. We have to always select the smaller value. MB is smaller than 1.5 MB. So we have to select MB. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. To find the internal work done, we have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.5 theta 1. Theta 1 plus 0 0.5 theta 1, we will get 1.5 theta 1. 1.5 into 1.5, we will get 2.25. After adding these three values, we are getting 4.25 MB theta 1, which is the internal work done. Now, we are going to find the external work done. For that, we have to find the height under the point load 150 kN. Let us keep this height as a delta 1. Let us find delta 1. For the distance of 4 meter, the height is delta. So for 4, it is delta. 
but we want the height at the distance of 2 meter so we have to multiply this with 2 finally for delta 1 we are getting 0 0.5 delta now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load 100 kilo newton with the height delta and we have to multiply the load 150 kilo newton with the height 0 0.5 delta then we have to add them after adding we are getting 175 delta for delta we can apply 2 theta 1 finally we are getting the external work done which is equal to 350 theta 1 now let us equate the internal work done and the external work done we can eliminate theta 1 and we can take 4.25 on the other side it will come in the denominator finally we are getting mp which is equal to 82.35 kN meter now let us make the second mechanism in the span ab in the second mechanism we are assuming that the third plastic hinge occurs under the point load 150 kN let us keep this angle as theta 1 this angle as theta 2 so this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2 let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 1 is equal to delta upon 4 from that we can get delta which is equal to 4 theta 1 now let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 2 is equal to delta upon 2 for delta we can apply 4 theta 1 finally for theta 2 we are getting 2 theta 1 now let us find the internal work done in the point a we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply 1.5 mb with the angle theta 1 under the point load 150 kN we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply 1.5 mb with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2 in the point b we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply mb with the angle theta 2 in the previous mechanism we have seen that in the point b we have to take the plastic movement mb now let us add these three for theta 2 let us apply 2 theta 1 after adding these three we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 8 mb theta 1 now we are going to find the external work done for that we have to find the height under the point load 100 kilo newton let us keep this height as delta 1 let us find delta 1 for the distance of 4 meter the height is delta so for 4 it is delta but we need the height at the distance of 2 meter so we have to multiply 2 with these when we do that we are getting delta 1 which is equal to 0 0.5 delta now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the 100 kilo newton with the height 0 0.5 delta and then multiply 150 kilo newton with the height delta and then we have to add them when we add we will get 200 delta for delta we can apply 4 theta 1 finally for the external work done we are getting 800 theta 1 now let us equate the internal work done and the external work done theta 1 will be eliminated 800 upon 8 we will get 100 kilo newton meter now let us take the span bc and form the third mechanism 
in the span BC, in the joint B, there will be a plus T hinge. Under the point load 80 kN, there will be a plus T hinge. In the point C, there will be no plus T hinge because it is a simply supported end. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2. From that, we will get delta which is equal to 2 theta 1. Now, let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta 2 is equal to delta upon 3. For delta, we can apply 2 theta 1. Finally, for theta 2, we are getting 0 0.67 theta 1. Now, let us find the internal work done. In the joint B, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. Under the point load, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. To find the internal work done, we have to add these two. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.67 theta 1. After adding these two values, we are getting internal work done, which is equal to 2.67 MB theta 1. Now, let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the load 80 with the height delta. For delta, we can apply 2 theta 1. 80 into 2, we will get 160. Finally, for the external work done, we are getting 160 theta 1. Now, let us equate the internal work done and the external work done. We can eliminate theta 1 and take 2.67 on the other side. It will come in the denominator. Finally, for MB, we are getting 60 kN meter. In the mechanism 1, for MB, we have got 82.35 kN meter. In the mechanism number 2, for MB, we have got 100 kN meter. In the mechanism number 3, for MB, we have got 60 kN meter. Out of these three mechanisms, we have to select the maximum value. 100 kN meter is the maximum value. So, this is the plastic movement capacity. The plastic movement capacity of the span AB is 1.5 MB. So, we have to multiply 100 with 1.5. When we do that, we are getting 150 kN meter. The plastic movement capacity for the span BC is MB. So, we have to apply 100 kN meter. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.